I mean, it was fun, scary, and a learning experience. The FAA set up a station designed to train pilots for a sudden loss of oxygen in the air by walking them through a similar situation under the watchful eye of staff on the ground. The problem with hypoxia is you'll have something called less of effective performance time. J.R. Brown is an FAA aerospace physiologist. He explains the chamber is designed to simulate a loss of oxygen at 27,000 feet which can have deadly consequences for pilots. And when you lose your effective performance time as a pilot, that means you lose vision, you lose hearing, you lose uh, hand-eye coordination, reaction time, and especially judgment and decision-making go downhill. Uh, problem is, you don't feel these. Right now, the levels of oxygen are around 21% in the air and about 98% in my blood. Once inside this chamber, though, they can drop to as low as 7% in the air and 65% in my blood. At that level, things can turn deadly within minutes without this mask. For myself, like two minutes would be the upper limit of what I would, you know, want to be up in that level for. Pilot Eldridge Evangelista attended one of the demonstrations. He says he felt dizzy within a minute of entering the chamber and had to put the mask on after less than four minutes. Evangelista says the experience was helpful in training him about the warning signs of hypoxia and just how serious it can be. It's very, very serious, number one. The moment you feel that first symptom, now that you know what your symptoms are, then you really need to make an effort to get that plane down or, you know, get some oxygen inside you. Brown cautions that the levels of hypoxia in the chamber can cause pilots to lose control of the plane in less than five minutes and urges pilots to carry oxygen when flying above 12,500 feet. In Oshkosh, Seth Humanek, NBC 26.